Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass button on a part. Just before the video begins, I would like to announce that I now have my own merch store. We have an amazing selection of products at a very reasonable price. If you did want to go check out some of these products, you can find the link to the store at the top of the description. We are actively adding more products and designs, so if you did want to support us, make sure to go check out the merch store. But anyway, enjoy the video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explore and Properties are enabled. If Explore and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explore and Properties. So once you've got Explore and Properties are enabled, you now want to go and insert your part, which is going to be holding the Game Pass button. This is a great thing to have in your Roblox game, especially if you're maybe doing an obby, and there's maybe like a skip stage area, and you want to have a skip stage kind of sign there saying you can you can click here to skip the stage, or you can have like buy this for 199 Robux and you get double jump or, you know, you can really put any game pass on here you want. But go and insert your part and I'm gonna go and anchor the part there to make sure that it doesn't flop over when we go test it out. But now that we've anchored the part, we wanna click on the plus button and insert a Surface GUI. Now, if you don't see Surface GUI, just go and search it up there, but insert a Surface GUI. And inside the Surface GUI, we now want to go and insert a frame, just search up frame and insert a frame. And now you should be able to see where your surface GUI is. Now that you've got that, you want to go and expand your frame. So once you've fitted your frame onto your part, you now want to go and click on the plus button next to your frame and insert either a text button or a image button. It really depends on what you want. If you want the Game Pass logo to show, you'd choose an image button. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be using a simple text button. Yeah. So now that you've added a text button into your frame, you now want to go and change where you want the text button or image button to be on your frame or on your part. You can do this by going down to the properties of your text button and changing the position. Now you want to change the second digit over here and change this, for example, to five. As you can see now, we have gone five away and we are five away from the edge right here. And if we go and adjust this one over here, right on the end of the end digit, let's say we put that to 10, we can now see that we have got it 10 down and obviously you just kind of move it around to wherever you would like but we will just go and leave it like that because we don't really need to customize it too much more but there's our button now we want to go and adjust the text and for this tutorial i'm just going to make it a very simple text i'm going to um, text scaled and change the text to game pass just like that and keep in mind you just put your texture id in that you want for the image button you just put in your image that you want and then voila done just like that but for this tutorial we're all using a text button there we have it, so there is our Game Pass button. Now we wanna click on the plus button and insert a local script. You now wanna go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now on line two, you wanna go and change this ID to whatever your Game Pass ID is. So I have my Game Pass right here, and my Game Pass ID is, the, is, is shown in the top link. So there's my Game Pass ID remove all the previous ID and then paste in my game pass ID. So now what will happen here? If a player clicks on our text button, they will be prompted this purchase thing or taken to the transaction page where they can purchase this game pass. So once you've changed the game pass ID, you want to go up here and click on the X to go save the script. So now that you've saved your script, you now want to go over to your surface GUI and you want to click on the arrow there, which is basically closing it. Now you want to go and move the surface GUI all the way to your starter GUI. And an easy way to do this is to go and find the parent of your Surface GUI, and our parent is our part. So wherever it says parent, we wanna go and put that into starter GUI, basically moving our Surface GUI into our starter GUI. Now do not worry, yes, I know the GUI has gone missing, but I'm gonna show you how to get it back on there in a second. So now that your Surface GUI is in the starter GUI, you wanna go click on it, and you wanna go find the property that says Adorni, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but Adorni, you want to go and click on the blank space and then you want to go and find your part which you want the Surface GUI to be on. And if once we click on our part, our Surface GUI is now back. So once you've set your Surface GUI Adorni to be on our part, you then want to go over to the home bar here and you want to make sure that your game has got third party sales enabled. If it doesn't, you want to go over to the game settings, click on security and enable allow third party sales and click on save. Now that you've done that, you want to go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base play. And if we click on our text button, which says game pass, the transaction page will now pop up. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. 
Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video.